Houston Rodeo may not like this too much, but the whole sacred cow routine is starting to wear a little thin. Sure, the rodeo has great concerts, our kids learn about livestock, and the show raises a lot of money for scholarships. But that doesn't mean the rodeo gets to hide their charity's financial records. Harris County State District Judge Steve Kirkland is making that quite clear, rejecting the rodeo's effort to hide their records, detailing payments for security, possible legal settlements in sex cases, and details of the Houston Rodeo's foreign investments. Dolcefino Consulting had sought the financial records, and you got to ask yourself why the rodeo would spend your charity money to hire lawyers to go to court to try to keep their financial records such a secret. Given that the rodeo solicits, solicits donations and volunteers all throughout the Houston community but doesn't want to open up its financial records, I find concerning. The rodeo is facing tough questions for a chain. Only one of $10 it raises actually goes to the kids. Thousands of volunteers work for free, while the rodeo boss makes more than $600,000 a year. Tax returns show the charity is worth about a quarter of a billion dollars. And you also have to question the rodeo's logic. All they have done is attract a lot more attention to the brutal rape of this woman, Brianna Williams, viciously assaulted during a Los Vaqueros warm-up trail ride event in 2012, nearly six years ago. The rodeo required these trail ride associations, like the Los Vaqueros trail ride where my client was raped, to follow certain rules. They had to have safety in place. They had to check the riders and make sure that those riders don't have troubled backgrounds. Now the growing question, what did the rodeo know and when did they know it? The rodeo didn't let the Los Vaqueros trail riders join the parade this year, even though it's the oldest Hispanic trail ride at the rodeo. But before the lawsuit was filed, apparently Los Vaqueros was more than welcome. Imagine what that did to Brianna. It was devastating. Imagine that every year when March rolls around, all you hear about is the road. And you hear about the trail ride and the parade coming through town. And then she hears from friends and family that this one of the men that raped her is continuing to ride in this parade, smiling, waving to children as if nothing ever happened. It's a slap in the face and constantly reopening very deep ways. Our questions about security had actually nothing to do with the rape case. We got curious after both Houston police and the Harris County Sheriff's Office claimed they couldn't find a single report of crime during the entire three-week rodeo event. Two million, sometimes, let's be honest, drunk folks behaving very neighborly to each other without a single incident of crime? Problem is, we just didn't buy it. And the rodeo fighting all our questions? You know me. It just makes me want to ask more. Now it's time for the DA Kim Ock to take action because there shouldn't be sacred cows, especially where charity money is concerned. Get the rodeo to cough up the records, Miss Ogg, or charge them with a crime. Yes, they've got to follow the law too. <laughs>